Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, we're going to continue with a bit of VBA in Excel. So let's firstly save what we did last lesson. So if you go to File, Save, and if you save it somewhere, wherever you want, on your PC, wherever it is that you're saving, and what I want you guys to realize is that when you save your workbook, let's call it um, Grade Calculator, you can't save it as an Excel workbook because if you click Save, it'll say that you cannot save some features in a macro free workbook. So you're going to click No and you're going to switch the file type that you're saving as to an Excel macro enabled workbook. Once you switch it to that, you should be able to save it and it will save the macro as well. So if you remember what we did last lesson, we click this button that says clear marks and it'll clear the contents of these cells. So let's type some things in, clear marks, um, it clears the contents. So let's now look at the code behind this macro. So if you go into macros, you can see the clear marks macro and let's now click edit. And this is the visual basic for applications code. So when, whenever someone talks about VBA, you can simply look at it as the programming behind macros. So by clicking record, when you are doing stuff, Excel simply generates the instructions using VBA that represent what you have done. So if we have a look at what it's saying, the first part is sub clear marks. What is sub clear marks? Sub clear marks is simply saying this little program that you have recorded, we give it a name called clear marks. That is the name of the macro or the subroutine. And a subroutine you can think of as just a group of instructions. So these are the instructions. And if you have a look at where this code is sitting, it's sitting inside module one. So what is a module? Again, it is a way for us to organize the code. So we put it, we can have multiple modules and we put different um, codes for different purposes inside different modules. But right now our program is not very big. So just having one module is enough. We're going to look at different modules, putting code in different modules later on. For now, all the code is in one module and we just have one single subroutine called clear marks. And what does it do? Well, this green part here is simply the comments. Comments are simply things that you write to yourself to remind you what this code does. So you can get rid of the comments because it doesn't do anything. But if you want to remind yourself and say, okay, this code, is for clearing the contents in cells, right? And you can see it turns green, which means it's a comment. It's not going to be executed. Let's look at the coding after this. Range bracket, quotation marks, C7, colon, C17, quotation mark bracket. This section here is called an object. This section here is called an object. So what is an object? Basically, anything you can see is an object. So cells are objects. Groups of cells can be objects or a single cell can be an object. Um, the sh worksheet is an object. The whole workbook is an object. If you create a graph, it's an object. This button is an object. Anything on here you can see is an object. So. Um, oops, where is my code? There it is. So um, what we're talking about here is we need to define an object. So this range bracket is saying select 
or not select the group of cells from C7 to C17. So the group of cells from C7 to C17 is now an object. What sort of object? It's a range object, a range of cells. So this object, we've got a dot. So we've got a dot. And then after that, we have, just ignore that for now, we have a select. So what is select? Select is a method. Select is a method. A method for the object range. So what is a method? A method is simply uh, an action that an object can perform. So this object, this range object, what it can do is it can select everything in this range. So that's what a method is. We're selecting this range of cells. So if we get rid of if we get rid of this code here so I can comment it out which means it's not going to be executed by just typing one single quote so if you put a comment here so comment it out and let's control s and if I go back to the spreadsheet and you can see if I click clear marks so if I go if I type some things in and I just click clear marks it doesn't do anything apart from selecting this cell. So you can see that it's selecting from C7 to C17. So if I change that number from C7 to C9, save, control S, and let's go back to a spreadsheet, click clear marks, it only selects from C7 to C9. Okay, so once something is selected, a new object is now created called selection. So we can now look at the selection object and clear contents is a method that this selection object can perform. So we can get rid of the um, we can get rid of the contents in this object. So we are looking at this object right here and we're clearing the contents so click clear marks and the contents are gone so that is the notation it's object in this case we got a range object and the selection object dot um, method method is what you can do to that object so let's now try a few different methods so instead of selecting it I'm gonna try something else I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try uh, actually I'm just gonna keep that the way it is I'm gonna copy this whole thing and I'm going to rename it Okay, I'm going to rename it as copy paste marks. Copy paste marks. So after I select it, um, instead of clearing it, I'm going to copy it. Okay, so if I um, save this and go back to the code and you can see here, that I only have one button so I'm going to make up another button put it here and I'm going to call I'm going to use the macro copy paste marks click OK and I'm going to rename button 2 by clicking on the name to uh, change it to copy paste copy and paste marks ok so let's go 60, 90, 95, copy and paste. It's selected, it's copied it, but I haven't said where I want to paste it. So I need to click somewhere else, press enter to paste, which is a bit of manual work. So let's now code that in. So let's go back to macros, edit the copy paste marks macro. And actually, I should probably let you guys know a quick, a quick shortcut 
to get to this window is alt plus f11 if you press that on your keyboard alt f11 this comes up really quickly so now um, what I'm gonna do is uh, go to another cell so you can see here where did I paste it I pasted it in C13 so here I'm going to select C13 dot select so I'm selecting that C13 cell and then I'm going to run the paste method but when I'm pasting what I need to do is I need to paste it in this sheet so what is this sheet called this sheet is called active sheet active sheet is an object representing the sheet that is currently active and we're gonna paste we're gonna paste it okay so let's now save this control s and let's go back so if I click copy and paste marks you can see it's automatically pasted in cell number 13 now you might see that we still have some of these um, little dots around the moving dots around these three cells after we've already pasted it so that's probably not ideal so let's go um, let's change these you can see it does everything but it's still got the moving dots and you have to press the escape key to get rid of that so i'm going to talk about some ways to make it a bit better but hopefully you guys understand now how to get to the coding window and some basics on um objects and methods and next lesson we're going to improve on your knowledge in that and talk about properties okay thanks for watching guys see you next time